When they said opposites attract, they were definitely talking about Enid Sinclair and Wednesday Adams. Also, don't you think Enid passes the vibe check for being the main character? In this video, we'll talk about why Wednesday's relationship with Enid is the most important in the series. Along with that, there were so many ways she could be the main character. So watch this video till the very end to learn all about it. First up, they're similar yet different. Even though the show was really brief, it didn't rip us off from the multi-layered relationships, friendships, and situationships. Literally every ship there is. And we know that Wednesday's actual romantic interests were Tyler and Xavier. We just couldn't help but focus on her relationship with her roommate, Enid. Even though the two started a little bumpy, they developed an unlikely relationship as the show progressed. While Enid is the human, or shall we say werewolf form of sunshine, Wednesday's a thundercloud. Both of them have pretty conflicting personalities, but the fact that both of them were outcasts made them more similar than different. So it was fascinating to see the two bond throughout eight episodes. And while the show's main lead had an amazing character arc, the character that had the greatest impact on her was definitely her roommate. Moving on, the duo's dynamic was the strongest. Everyone in the show had their own problems going on. Xavier was torn between his ex and Wednesday. His ex, Bianca, was stuck in this thing with her mom. Tyler was the beast that left us all stunned. Anyway, in other words, out of all the dynamics in the show, the one that stood out effortlessly was the two polar opposite BFFs. Sinclair was one of those characters on the show that had the most constant presence. And not just that, she even created her own bond with Thing. The two roommates' friendship was actually shown in the scene where they both look at each other before they meet their families at Nevermore. We're expecting to see more of the duo and also plan on seeing them grow together. But as far as season one is concerned, their friendship was single-handedly the strongest duo in the whole show. Coming up, they highlighted their differences. From the moment they introduced the rainbow werewolf in the show, the directors couldn't stress enough the fact that they were so different. And the fact that the two were outcasts was where the similarities end. Wednesday's dark and broody aesthetic couldn't be more different from Sinclair's colorful and bubbly personality. That's actually the most interesting part of it all. Their differences are part of what makes them work so well. The werewolf-to-be doesn't hold back from trying to befriend the little Adam. She stays pretty consistent and keeps trying to become friends, even when the scorpion makes it a little hard. Her consistency and loyalty lead to Wednesday eventually lowering her guard. The two don't really dive into each other's worlds that often, but when needed, they're there to help. You know what's the best thing? There's literally no peer pressure. Both of them accept each other how they are. Wednesday doesn't force her to change, and neither does Enid. They both embrace each other's differences. In fact, this differentiates their dynamic from the others in the show. Almost every dynamic in the show wants the little death trap to tone down and shape according to the roles. Whether it's the school principal or the town's sheriff, even Xavier is pushy, hoping she'd open up to him. Following up, their attachment. Wednesday wasn't attached to many people on the show. Yes, she was attached to her family and then to Eugene. She also mentioned how he reminded her of her younger brother. But other than that, she wasn't really close to anyone else. Then comes Emma Meyer's character. They place their growing bond under the microscope a lot more than other friendships, especially when they get into an argument and Enid moves out. We get to see how Adams gets jealous when she mentions her new friendships. It affects Wednesday even if she denies it. She isn't used to feeling attached to people. They're both hurt because of the distance. And then eventually she moves back and Adams is pretty happy with it. Wednesday is striving to build friendships, including with her. Enid consistently maintains a platonic relationship with Wednesday, which helps to establish a strong foundation of trust and avoids any potential complications in their friendship. Not to mention, the bond got stronger. We don't know if you screamed or whether your heart melted at this scene, but ours definitely did. One of the most important establishments in the show was how Wednesday wasn't comfortable being touched or hugged. That sort of affection was definitely not her cup of tea. But, 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 there's always a but. In the season one finale, we see something different happen. After Adams wins the battle, she's greeted by her ragtag group, also exhausted by the aftermath of the fight. Anyway, when Enid finds out that her BFF is safe and alive, she runs and hugs her. Now, under normal circumstances, or if this was episode one, Adams wouldn't have reciprocated the hug. Contrary to that, she hugs Sinclair back, tighter than she hugged her. This moment shows how much both of them have grown since they first met, and how Wednesday still trusts others, despite being shocked by the revelation of who was attacking Nevermore's students. Their relationship has a lot of potential. What's more, their friendship brings some positivity to the series, which can be otherwise dark and disturbing. Next segment, ways Enid was the real main character of Wednesday. First, Enid's cheerful optimism. Emma Myers did an excellent job as Enid Sinclair on Wednesday. She played a very cheerful 
likable and optimistic character, and her good nature helped her make friends easily. Sinclair always had a hopeful attitude and believed in the best in people. Her upbeat attitude quickly endeared her to the show's viewers. This type of energy is what many people look for in the main character. So, even though Wednesday is the protagonist, it's easier for the audience to relate to a character like Enid, not to forget the best romance in the show. From the start of the show, Enid has a crush on her classmate Ajax. While they have a rocky start because of Ajax missing their date when he accidentally stones himself by looking in the mirror. They eventually become a sweet and healthy couple. Wednesday's involved in a love triangle, but none of her romantic relationships are as interesting as her roommate. It's difficult for viewers to enjoy Xavier's jealousy and stalking behavior or Tyler's malicious intentions. So Enid's romance is the one that the audience supports. Now, the family problems. One of the show's main themes is the characters' struggles to mature in their challenging families. Tyler has a hard time communicating with his dad, and Adams has a strained relationship with her mother. Bianca has to go against her mother's evil plans, and Enid has to deal with her mother's expectations. While the show explores these storylines, one of the most central ones is the one between the Sinclair family. She's a late bloomer, and her mother tries to force her development. She stands up for herself, and her family eventually learns to accept her for who she is, following up a whole new aesthetic. The Adams family is famously known for its dark and somber aesthetic. While the show is mostly comedic and satirical, the characters are generally kind and wholesome. The Adams family wears black clothing, enjoys discussing death, and is comfortable with gruesome things. Enid is the opposite of all of this. Her room, clothing, nails, and hair are colorful, and her attitude is cheerful and optimistic. It's bold to include this type of character in an Adams family show, but it was also significantly different from the franchise's traditional themes. Not to forget, she's the quirkiest. Wednesday features a cast of quirky characters, but Sinclair stands out among them. While the Nevermore school is filled with unusual individuals, the little werewolf is particularly extraordinary, even among all the outcasts. Many of her classmates exhibit typical eccentricities associated with people with superpowers, but she's the only cheerful and colorful werewolf on television. Typically, the main character on TV is the one who stands out or does things differently. While Edgar Allan Poe inspired the school and has a gloomy atmosphere, Sinclair makes her own path and could easily be considered the main character. Coming up, the best character development. At the beginning of the show, Enid is outgoing and charming, but also insecure. She grapples with her werewolf identity and her family's expectations, and has a hard time understanding her new roomie, who consistently rejects her. She's unsure about how to express her feelings to her crush, Ajax. As the show progresses, she becomes more self-assured, confident, and is able to assert her boundaries. She confronts her family about their unhealthy expectations, tells Wednesday that she isn't being a good friend and stands up for herself when she feels rejected by Ajax. All of this growth and development may be why she eventually transforms into a werewolf in the series. Up next, the main romantic interest. Although both Adams and Sinclair have explored straight romantic relationships during the show, the chemistry between them is so strong that they have gained a huge fan base. Since their friendship is a central focus of the show, it wouldn't be surprising if they developed romantic feelings for each other. The dynamic between these two characters with the werewolf as the cheerful and optimistic one, and Adams as the protective one, is too good to ignore. And the audience is already rooting for them as a couple, using the portmanteau when Claire. Being part of the main ship of the series puts Sinclair in a position of prominence. It seems like a missed opportunity for the main lead and potential main lead not to become a couple, following up on her happy ending. In many TV shows and movies, the main character often achieves a happy ending, including finding a fulfilling romantic relationship, becoming popular at school, and achieving their goals. This is exactly what happens to Enid. Unlike Wednesday, she ends up in a relationship with her longtime crush and wins the school tournament, which was something she had wanted to do. She even resolves her family issues and fully embraces her werewolf identity. Someone typically reserves this type of storyline for the main character. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Enid should get her own show? Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next one.